And this is Zaza. Hi. And her dog, Pecorino. <laughs> They're on a mission to find Hold on, Pecorino. and to make the perfect pie. Hi everyone, I'm Elena from Zaza's Perfect Pie and I wanted to do a grilled pizza tutorial for you because the summer season is upon us and grilled pizza is really a very special treat. So I want to explain my setup because it's very important to be prepared. Um, this is my grill and I'm gonna get it really hot. So anything above 550 degrees Fahrenheit. So I gotta get that going. But then I've used these little side tables here to put all of my ingredients on. It's really important to have that ready to go. So on this side over here, let me switch. On this side over here, I have all of my ingredients in small bowls with the spoons that I'll use to put it on the pizza. So I have my tomato sauce, my cheese, I have little salami slices, and I have spoons so I can easily put it on. The other thing I have ready are my tools. I have some metal tongs and a metal spatula, and I have a cutting board, which I will put my finished pizza on. I've oiled both sides of my dough. I oiled this pan, and then I oiled the dough on the top as well. Because what I'm gonna do is when this grill gets really hot, I am going to flip it over, and it's gonna land on the grill grate and because I've oiled it, it won't stick. I promise you. I do not use a pizza stone on my grill. I put the dough directly on the grate and I oil the food, not the grill grate. That is my method. So I put the dough on with nothing but olive oil on the grill and I cook it for two minutes with nothing on it. Close the lid, cook for two minutes. Then I open the lid up I flip the dough over using my handy utensils, top it quickly, which is why I'm prepared, and then I close it and cook for two more minutes. That is it. So I'm gonna show you the whole process right now. Get excited, let's get started. worry if when you flip your pizza dough over onto the grill, it doesn't really have a perfectly round shape. It'll still taste perfect. I close the lid and I cook it for two minutes at 550 degrees or above. When I open the lid, I need to use my handy metal tools, my spatula and my tongs to flip it over. Once I've flipped it over, I can add my toppings. I try to work as quickly and as efficiently as I can without making too much of a mess. That's why I portion everything out into individual bowls with spoons so I can easily put it on top of my pizza dough. Next, I'll close the lid and bake it for another two minutes. Once I open the lid, we're good to go. I lift it onto a cutting board that I've had nearby with my handy spatula and bring it inside. Once it's off the grill, I can put some garnishes on top that aren't necessary to bake in the grill. This time I used a little Parmesan cheese, some hot chili pepper, and some fresh basil. Now it's time to cut and serve it and look at those pretty grill stripes you've got on your pizza. If you want to make another pizza, just close the lid, heat your grill back up, and repeat the whole process all over again. It goes really, really quickly, and the great thing about the grill 
is that it keeps your pizza dough super moist because it doesn't have a long cooking time, so your dough won't dry out. It'll be delicious and fluffy and crispy. It's perfect for summertime. If you try this recipe, I'd love to hear about it. Tag me on Instagram at Zaza's Perfect Pie, and I would love to see your grilled pizza photos. Good luck and happy grilling.